Our team coverage rolls on now. Access to our state's beaches may be limited this summer. A strict plan is in the works to keep large crowds off the sand along the shore. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live at Silver Sand State Park in Milford. And Carolina, what changes have we seen there so far? Well, they closed the boardwalk connector here at Silver Sand State Park just because you can't do this. You can't step back and stay away from others and keep that six feet of social distance. And we know that even though beaches have a lot of room, when you pack it with a lot of people, you cannot keep that distance from others. We're a little more than a month into spring, but there's already a buzz about what summer activities will look like in the time of social distancing. Will you be able to take that vacation, hang out with friends, how about a beach day? We don't have any plans to close our beaches, um, but obviously if they're overcrowded, we're going to have to limit the number of people who can park at those beaches. So we'll be uh, pretty strict about that. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo wants the tri-states of New York, New Jersey and Connecticut to work on a plan together. He says if only one state, such as Connecticut, opens its beaches, people, including those from out of state, will flock there. It could lead to a greater risk for people getting sick. The downside to closing beaches is drop in tourism and summer jobs. Places like Ocean Beach on New London's waterfront would take a hit. It would be just another, another kick in the teeth, obviously, if that has to be done. So the takeaway right now is that the plan is to keep our beaches open this summer, but there may be limited access, so you would definitely have to get here early, and that could also change. Reporting in Milford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.